Reading with Madison. Hey there! Are you ready to hear a story? This book is being read with permission from Simon and Schuster. Chirp, Chipmunk Sings for a Friend, written by Jamie A. Swenson and illustrated by Scott Magoon. Chipmunk lived on a rock. Most days she sat in her rock, chirping from dawn until the stars shone down. Sometimes Chipmunk's songs were happy, sometimes her songs were bittersweet, and sometimes her songs were very sad indeed. The rock was a very good listener, but Chipmunk longed for a friend who could sing along with her. One day Chipmunk said, stay right here, rock, and off she went. It wasn't long before Chipmunk came to a pine cone. Hello, pine cone. Would you like to meet my friend rock? Pine cone agreed. Chipmunk scooped pine cone up and off they went. Just as Chipmunk had suspected, pine cone and rock got on famously. Chipmunk started to chirp, hoping that Pinecone would join her. But Pinecone's talents, like rocks, were of the listening sort. So Chipmunk chirped and chirped and chirped her own song. It was bittersweet, for though she was happy that Pinecone and Rock were such good listeners, she still longed for a friend who would sing along with her. Stay right here, Chipmunk told Rock and Pinecone. And off she went. It wasn't long before she came to a log. Hello, Log. Would you like to meet my friends Rock and Pinecone? Log agreed, so Chipmunk tried to move Log. And tried, and tried, but Log wouldn't budge. Finally, Chipmunk sat and chirped a song about loneliness and defeat. A raccoon heard Chipmunk's song. That is a sad song, said Raccoon. It is the song in my heart, said Chipmunk. It is beautiful, said Raccoon. Keep singing. Chipmunk smiled and sang a bit more. Raccoon swayed and tapped her paw. When Chipmunk was done with her song, Raccoon said, I will help you move log. So Raccoon and Chipmunk tried to move log and tried and tried and tried, but log simply wouldn't budge. Chipmunk and Raccoon sat. Chipmunk started singing a bittersweet song about friendship and defeat. Raccoon listened for a moment and then joined in harmony. She added a bit about frustration. A moose heard their song. That is a very sad song, said Moose. It's the song in our hearts, said Chipmunk. I added the part about frustration, said Raccoon. It is a beautiful song, said Moose. Please keep singing. When their song was done, Moose nodded thoughtfully. Maybe I can help move Log, he said. So Chipmunk, Raccoon, and Moose tried to move Log and tried and tried until pop! Log rolled down a hill across a meadow and stopped right next to Rock and Pinecone. Just as Chipmunk had suspected, Rock, Pinecone, and Log got on famously. They are perfect together, said Raccoon. Like a rock, a pinecone, and a log in a pod, said Moose. Each day Chipmunk still chirps her songs, and Rock, Pinecone, and Log listen. Sometimes her songs are happy, sometimes her songs are bittersweet, and sometimes her songs are very sad indeed. But now Raccoon and Moose sing along too. The end. Okay, thumbs up if you enjoyed the book. Nice. If you would like to purchase this book for your at-home library, you can click on the link in the description box below to support the talented authors, illustrators, and publishers. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more read-alouds, do some science experiments, watch videos about letters and numbers, and do some really fun arts and crafts projects with me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!